All right, if you're new to the Project Moongol channel, our community, smash the like button, do subscribe. We're going to look at the worst case scenario, the best case scenario. We're going to look at where to take profit and where Dogecoin can go. There is a lot of news now that Elon has changed Twitter to X. And uh, X is supposed to be, if this is an empty promise, a real promise, we'll never know until all of the, all of the you know, things are in place can possibly skyrocket Dogecoin. So you can already see Dogecoin pump in here a bit. But we're going to look at the weekly scenario. The weekly, your stochastic oscillator is moving right up. And I'm not going to shut off your stochastic, but I am going to show you guys. You broke out on the weekly. So you have your large trend here and you broke out. That is very, very huge. This is October 2022 resistance and Dogecoin has broken out. Now, you're going to see that if you zoom in here on your stochastic oscillator, we actually never backtested the weekly break on our RSI. Okay, so we never backtested that weekly break for a confirmation of a clear breakout and then a move to the upside. But there are some other indicators that will show that this is possibly the start of a bull run on Dogecoin or at least a major run coming up. All right, so we have our first confirmation that Dogecoin is in an uptrend. We're also going to throw up our alligator. Our alligator is a confirmation if we are going into a uptrend or we are in consolidation. Right here, we can see Dogecoin is definitely in consolidation and has been for quite some time since really July of 2022. The nice thing about the alligator indicator, if you're not familiar with it, the green crosses over the blue. At the top, you have a downtrend. If this crosses over at the bottom, you have an uptrend. Okay, so that is a huge thing you want to note. So we're going to go the three-day. We're going to go to a lower time frame here on Doge. And we are going to see we have a beautiful cross on the blue. So the green lips are crossing over, which is the uh, the jaw, the the outside of the alligator. And of course, your pink. You want to be above your green. All right. And you are definitely here. So if we look at some previous patterns here, with the three day moving up, we have a huge move right here of 165% back in November of 2022. We have a little move right here at uh, in this area right here. We are overbought on the three days. So shorter term resistance, very, very simple. We can look at this right here. We can go to our line and we can see shorter term, we're going to nine seven. It is almost guaranteed we're going to 9.7 because you're passing this resistance at 7.9. And this would be before the 16 hour, 22 minute close. Then I want to throw up my VRVP. And you can see this is perfect. The point of control line, uh, the point of control line is right here for consolidation. But really the major resistance is that 9.7 target. All right, so then I'm going to flip over to my daily. Make sure we're maximizing the alligator indicator here and the VRVP. We can see that there's a jot of resistance right here. And it is trying to, to pump past. You can see right now Dogecoin's trying to pump past. But if we close above this area right here, now this is new support. And your next resistance is that 9.5 to 9.8, 9.7 target in this area right here is a major liquidity zone and a major supply offloading zone. And of course, right here on Dogecoin is all a demand zone and a demand area from here to pretty much right here if you're highlighting that. Right, so on the VRVP, we're going to turn off our alligator here. We're going to show you that this is all major area of consolidation. This is a major area where um, price will consolidate. And if you turn to the left here, you're going to see an area here around 14.5 to 14.7. After this, you pretty much are going to run to that area right here on your VRVP. Now, I do want to throw up my key levels. I don't always use this indicator, 
but you can see right there we're aiming that 13 marker and i would say you're getting a wick to around that 14.7 region 15 cents is very possible but there's some other things we need to look at here so the three day has broken out so what we're going to do is we're going to take our trend line and our resistance right here to right here from april 2023 and you can see it broke out the daily this stochastic oscillator is amazing and your rsi right the daily is rejecting a bit here but your daily is going straight up if you look at your daily that pocket is literally nine six eight to nine seven okay that is the next pocket if you close above and you don't break this support right here and go down that is your next zone for dogecoin short term now the worst case scenario is if you break that you want to look for your support target right so you take your line this is just all support massive support in this area right here if you break this major region about six six eight you're going to come down and double bottom around five eight it's a pretty simple scenario and if you have a spot position, I wouldn't worry too much, okay? Um, but you're going to see you pretty much did break out on every time frame, line to line, and that is October 2022 resistance. All right, guys, I was, we're six minutes in. We're not doing too bad here. So I'm going to flip over to the other indicators. I'm going to show you guys Parabolic SAR. I'm going to show you guys 800, 200, 55, 21, 14, and 9 EMA. So right here, if you go to the three-day time frame on Doge, the last time Doge had a golden cross like this was wild. But you can see all your EMA is here. I just mentioned fanned out. You went from 002 and pumped all the way to $0.09. Cents, an absolutely ridiculous run mirroring february 2021 well the last time doge really came close was back well there here was seven to ten but i would say this would be the closest of the closest all your emas right and here's another move about to happen and if you go to the 18 hour time frame or i mean your daily time frame you're about to have a golden cross which is your lower EMA is, this would be your 55 and your 200. This is what I'm using now. I used to use the 50. Now I use 55 and 200. You can see every single golden cross here. I know Doge is retracing a bit. But every single golden cross here, you moved up 34%. Uh, this one, you moved up a bit. And you're 18, you already found out here. So now we're going to show you guys the 800 EMA on your 18 hour. This is really, really beautiful because this is starting to get a real hyper golden cross, I like to call it. Back when your 800 and your 200 met up here, you were 18 cents. That was back in February of 2022. Well, right here, you can see. Uh, this is about to cross shortly, not yet, but shortly. You want to watch it because if that happens, right, you reject it here, you reject it here, you reject it here. And I would say this is probably going to take a month or two, but watch that 800 EMA. We'll definitely do another price prediction beforehand. Um, the other thing is I want to go into my daily. I want to take off all these EMAs here. I want to go into my three day real quick. Here's your 55. Here's your other EMAs. Here's your 55. Here's your other EMAs. So you're going to actually notice there was a death cross here. But if you look at with your 200, there's not much data. But you can see now it's flattened out here um i want to show you guys my parabolic star there's not much data on on binance on dogecoin but my parabolic star is moving up here on the three day in a little bit of an uptrend and you're almost at the top of your 80. if you get to the top of your 80 on your three day guys on dogecoin 
Let me show you that the last time you were even close to the top was back in. This is on your three-day time frame. So we'll shut up our stochastic oscillator. Right. Uh sorry, October 2022. So October 2022, you went from six cents, you mirrored above 15. I think it's very, very possible. Now I want to throw up the double bottom indicator that we see here. We throw our points of resistance, our closes. So we got 9.8, 9.7, which was the key level we looked at earlier. And then we've got this major area right here, 12.8. And the top of your double bottom is 15. Okay. Obviously, it could go to the neckline if everything lines up and it's bullish. And that would take you to about 30 cents on Dogecoin longer term. But right now we're looking at a shorter term price prediction here. Not even a price prediction, right? Um, this is pretty much it. And then I'm going to try to throw up a fib real quick. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do join our live. It would be today at 10 p.m. CST. We also got a premium group. We charge a thousand bucks every three months for guys. Massive profit to be made free, 100% free. No caveat. Link in the description below. I want you guys to make money with us. It's going to be a fire August month and even into September. So we are gonna look at the uh, FIB here on Dogecoin real quick. Okay, so we got a real nice FIB. So we're passing our five basically. Well, if you actually really wanna see, we're about to head. So if you're doing a FIB from top to bottom, we're about to head above our 3A2. We kick that, we're up about the five. We find support here, we're good. We come up to this target, now you're above. If you're above 10.8, you back test that, close the support here. Your next shot is 15. And you can see here, all of the sellers are gone. No more sellers in this area. Okay. Um. That is pretty much all, guys. Make sure you do follow Project Moon Gold on Twitter and Snapchat, Project Moon Gold, okay? You can see here we're running. If you flip it around, the 618 is your resistance here. Uh, but if you flip it around the other way, there is a huge uptrend that can start. The last thing I want to use, I use my FIB a bit differently than some people, but it does work how I use it. Uh, the last thing I want to show you guys is the super trend on Doge. So on your three day, you are still bearish. And this kind of works like an Ichimoku cloud. On the daily, you're getting bullish. The last time you were bullish on the daily, every single time you moved up 66%, 50%, 100%. I personally think we're going to emulate this move about 100% and run. 168 and run to that region around 14.7 to 15 cents because then you'll meet this major liquidity area right here like I showed you on the VRVP and the double bottom. All right, guys, I'll keep you updated on Doge. Hope you have a wonderful day. We got a video coming up, pre-fed Bitcoin. Smash the like button. Make sure you share it to your friends and family and check out the comments. I'll link the other channel and the private coaching group.